Hi there! In this video, we will be talking about the two types of reproduction in all living organisms, sexual and asexual reproduction. While some bacteria live for a few minutes, some animals for half a century, and some plants and trees for hundreds or thousands of years, all organisms do not live forever. Without the process of reproduction, life would come to an end. It is one of the most important and fundamental processes of living organisms. Organisms reproduce in order to survive. To reproduce means to make a new life. Reproduction sustains the species so that it does not become extinct. Let's talk more about the differences between sexual and asexual reproduction. Organisms reproduce either sexually or asexually. The main difference between sexual and asexual reproduction is the number of parents. Sexual reproduction means combining genetic material from two parents, while asexual reproduction produces offspring genetically identical to one parent only. Sexual reproduction occurs when a new individual is formed by the union of two sex cells or gametes. Hence, the offspring is unique or not identical to the parents or siblings since it will be a combination of two sets of characteristics. This leads to genetic variation of the offspring. A sexual reproduction occurs when only one parent is involved in making a new creature. Since there is only one parent, all the traits of the mom or dad are passed on to the baby. As a result, the parent and child are identical with very little chance of variation. In sexual reproduction, it creates a minimum of one offspring, while a sexual reproduction creates a minimum of two daughter cells. In sexual reproduction, cells divide through meiosis. Meiosis is a special type of cell division in sexually reproducing organisms used to produce the gametes, such as sperm or egg cells. On the other hand, cells divide by mitosis through fission, budding, or fragmentation in a sexual reproduction. Thus, in sexual reproduction, there will be formation of gametes, while in a sexual reproduction, there will be no formation of gametes. In sexual reproduction, the unit of reproduction is the gamete that may lead to fertilization. On the other hand, in a sexual reproduction, the unit of reproduction is a whole parent body, bud, fragment, or a single somatic cell. Lastly, sexual reproduction is commonly found in higher or complex organisms such as mammals. On the other hand, a sexual reproduction is commonly found in lower forms of organisms such as bacteria and in some plants. As mentioned earlier, a sexual reproduction has different methods of reproduction, namely binary fission, fragmentation, and budding. Let's discuss each of these methods separately. Binary fission occurs when a parent cell splits into two identical daughter cells of the same size. Fragmentation occurs when a parent organism breaks into fragments or pieces, and each fragment develops into a new organism. Starfish reproduce this way. A new starfish can develop from a single ray or arm. Starfish, however, are also capable of sexual reproduction. Budding occurs when a parent cell forms a bubble-like bud. The bud stays attached to the parent cell while it grows and develops. When the bud is fully developed, it breaks away from the parent cell and forms a new organism. An example of this is budding in hydra. Now let's wrap things up. Organisms reproduce either sexually or asexually. The main difference between sexual and asexual reproduction is the number of parents. 
sexual reproduction means combining genetic material from two parents, while asexual reproduction produces offspring genetically identical to one parent only. That's all for now. In our next video, we will be discussing about biotic and abiotic factors in an ecosystem as well as the different ecological relationships. See you on our next video and don't forget to keep your minds busy! If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel and hit the notification icon for more videos like this.